Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for our main event. Three rounds in the welterweight division between Ricky the Hitman Hatton and the Pac-Man Manny Pacquiao. Ricky Hatton's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Manny Pacquiao's ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Able to dismiss that body shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. We saw Ricky Hatton rise to prominence, getting through some of the B-level guys among the 140 powers. Guys like Joe Hutchinson and Cool Vince Phillips and Ben Tacky and Mike Stewart and Sucre Ray Oliveira. But his coming out party, I mean, his big moment was the upset of Kostya Zoo. Yeah, you know, and it was an upset in a lot of dimensions. Not just that he won, he was the underdog going in there, even though it was on home turf. But a huge, huge upset that the way he won. Kostya Zoo basically gave up he was broken down by the relentless style of Hatton good defense is covering up down holy cow Ricky Hatton's hurt by that two good jabs by Manny Pacquiao Ricky Hatton's movements really helping him out avoiding that punch good job with three flush punches by Manny Pacquiao little head knocking with that right hand Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Just to the side. Only got a little piece of him there. Ricky Hatton's in a position where he can't be smothered. So he just gives a little push right there and makes some space. Oh, good exchange there. And that's the end of the round. A round in which this guy just didn't show a whole lot of defense. Teddy, why is it that everybody thinks they can punch, but not everybody knows how to defend themselves? Well, you know, I take a guy off the street, and I guarantee you, Joe, he'll come in the ring, he'll start swinging, he'll windmill a little bit. But getting away from the punches, that's something that has to be taught. When he misses you with punch, counter, counter. The third and final round is underway. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Well put together combination by Manny Pacquiao. Nice block by Ricky Hatton. Manny Pacquiao's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real... Oh, Manny Pacquiao's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Ricky Hatton's an inside fighter, and he needs just a little bit of space to get those punches off. So a little shove to get his man away. And now he scores well with a straight right. Ricky Hatton's inability to land flush and sharp was shown there. Keep it going. Yeah. Ah. 
Pacquiao with a good block there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Ricky Hat. A crushing two-punch combo by Ricky Hat. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Ricky Hat. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ricky Hatton scoring with one of the most effective punches there is. Landing an uppercut on the inside. Well, it's the right punch for the right place. The hands up of his opponent, but there's an opening right up that middle. Split the guard, and the punch is the uppercut. That's the ticket, and he's going with it.